Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find the perimeter of a composite figure, a composite shape, using a grid. In our previous perimeter videos, we used grids and unit squares to count the units around the outside of a shape. Now we're going to take this a step further, and even though we're still using grids, we're not going to count each individual unit. We're actually going to move away from that because eventually we're going to find perimeter without using grids. Let's jump into number one, where we need to find the perimeter. Again, we're not going to count each individual unit going all the way around. And for number one, we are working with meters. Each side of a square is one meter. So how do we find perimeter without counting each meter all the way around? Well, we find perimeter by adding all of the side lengths. So we add all of the side lengths and that will give us the distance around the shape, the perimeter. Let's start by figuring out the side lengths and we'll start up top. So this is one meter right here, one meter right here, and one meter right here. So this side length is three meters. Let's go to this side here. We have one meter, two meters, three meters, four meters. So this side length is four meters. Now let's go to the bottom. We have one, two meters here, then one meter here, then one meter here, and then one, two, three meters here. And those are all of our side lengths. Now we add those side lengths to get the perimeter. So three meters plus four meters plus two meters plus one meter plus one meter plus three meters. So let's come to the side here. We have perimeter equals, and I'm using P for perimeter here. And we will start up top with three meters. So three meters plus and I'm going to cross this three meters off. That way we don't miss anything or count anything twice. This can be helpful when we have a lot of sides to deal with and keep track of. So three meters plus four meters plus two meters plus one meter plus one meter plus three meters. So we have three plus four plus two plus one plus one plus three. And I do wanna mention, it doesn't matter what order we add these side lengths in. We will get the correct perimeter however we do it, as long as all of the sides are included. So let's add now. Three plus four is seven, plus two is nine, plus one is 10, plus one is 11, plus three is 14. So let's come underneath here where we have more room. So perimeter equals 14, and this is meters. So again, our focus here is to add side lengths to find the perimeter, because our next step after this is to find perimeter without using grids. So we won't have that option of counting each individual unit going around a shape. We need to be able to add side lengths. Let's try another example and move on to number two. Taking a look at number two, let's find the perimeter. And for number two, we are working with inches. So each side of a square is one inch. And remember, to find the perimeter, we need to add all of the side lengths. So let's start by finding the side lengths. And we will start up top where we have one, two, three, four inches. So four inches. Then let's go to the side here. We have one, two, three inches. And if we look straight across, this side is three inches as well. Then we have one, two inches here, and the other side is two inches as well. Now let's come down along this side here. So one inch, two inches, three inches, four inches, and five inches. 
Now the left side straight across from that is going to be five inches as well. Those sides are the same. And then the bottom we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight inches. And those are all of our side lengths. So we need to add those to find the perimeter. So perimeter equals, and now let's add the sides. We'll start up top, we have four inches plus three inches here and three inches here. So three inches plus three inches plus two inches here and two inches here. So two inches plus two inches. Then we have five inches and five inches. So plus five inches plus five inches. And then we have eight inches down here at the bottom. So plus eight inches. And now we can add four plus three is seven, plus three is 10, plus two is 12, plus two is 14, plus five is 19, plus five is 24, plus eight is 32. And that is the perimeter here. So let's come underneath here where we have more room. The perimeter equals 32 inches. Let's move on to number three, where you are going to try an example on your own. Here's number three, and you're going to try this one on your own. So have a piece of paper and a pencil ready. Find the perimeter by adding the side lengths. And we are working with inches here for number three. Now you can either pause the video and work through this or let the video play and I'll give you a minute and a half. Whenever you're ready, move ahead to the answers and check your work. Go ahead and start. Okay, so let's see what we have here for the perimeter, and you can check your answer. For number three, the perimeter, 24 inches. And keep in mind, if you added the side lengths in a different order than I did, that's perfectly fine, as long as we get that perimeter of 24 inches. We just need to make sure that all of the side lengths are included. So there you have it. There's how to find the perimeter of a composite figure using grids and adding all of the side lengths. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.